What's up, y'all? It's Candace with Candace C Fitness, and I'm about to get into an oblique focused core workout for you. Now, our obliques are super important, and they're sometimes something that we tend to neglect. Now, they help. We have two types, first off. Let's talk about those. So we've got our internal, which help really support our spine and help us bend side to side, and then we have our external obliques, and those are more visible, if you will. So when someone is really toned, you may see like where they have those nice cuts on the side. That's your external obliques, and they also help. They support your ribs. They help support your spine and help you move side to side and bend, so they're important to be strong. Now, this exercise or workout today is going to go over not only stabilization and activation of those muscles, but also it's going to help work those deep inner core muscles as well and help you build them and make them stronger through reps. So we've got three exercises in the first round and then we have two in the second. And we're, your goal would be to do about two to three of each round, resting for about a minute in between. Now I'm gonna go over each round with you and I'm gonna do it with you and then you can do however many you want on your own. So here we go. All right, so first we have a dead bug like hold with an oblique focus. So you want, with a dead bug, you always want to make sure that your core is engaged, your lower back and your spine is on the floor. Now for the oblique hold, I'm simply going to take my opposite knee and elbow and hold here for 30 seconds. Now you can keep your leg low for a challenge or you can bring it up higher if you need to, that opposite leg, and you are just holding here. Now the biggest thing you wanna focus on is not letting this knee come all the way in. You wanna almost come towards your knee with your elbow to get more of that twist in that activation within your side. So you'd hold here for about 30 seconds and just deep breathe while you do, and then you're gonna take it to the other side. Same thing, making sure that you're not pulling on your neck. Now when you do this, you don't wanna pull on your neck. You wanna make sure that you are keeping a nice, relaxed neck, relaxed traps, and you are just feeling this in your side. And a lot of times you'll feel it more on this side when you go to the second side. So whichever side you started on, you're gonna feel it, and just breathe, keeping that back in good contact with the ground, and then relax. So that is your first exercise, and it burns, y'all. It burns. Then we're gonna do a side plank hip dip. So you are going to lift up, and you can do this either way on your forearm or on your palm. I'm gonna do it on my forearm, and. You can also, if you need extra support, you can even keep that knee, bottom knee down. Now, if you do that, and no matter if you do that or not, you wanna make sure that you're keeping your body in a nice straight line and that you almost bring this hip up just a little bit. You're raising through that bottom oblique. So that's where all the work comes in. The higher you go, the more you're gonna feel that. So you really wanna work up your strength to really be able to lift up as high as you can. So we're gonna do 12 on each side. We're gonna be here, and again, my shoulder is right over my elbow, and I'm making sure that I'm not arching my back. I'm keeping a nice neutral spine. I'm gonna dip down, and then I'm gonna come up. So that's one, two, three, four, and again, paying attention to that spine, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and breathing with it, eleven, and twelve. Good. All right, so I'm going to add one other thing that you can do, so then I'll flip over to the other side, and if it's too if you feel like the knee down is too easy, but keeping both feet stacked is too challenging, you can also lift up and put your top leg in front of the other, and then you'll dip down one and two, three, kind of rounding just a little bit at the top, four, five, lift that arm for a little more challenge, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Good. So again, for that one, you're really focusing on keeping everything nice and straight. You're not arching that lower back and you're lifting through that oblique, not through your shoulder. Then we're going to do plank hip dips. So for this, you're going to get into a plank and you can do this again on your palms or on your forearms. I'm gonna do it on my palms this time. Normally, just as a rule of thumb, on your palms is gonna be more challenging because it's gonna get you away farther from the ground, which means there's more work for gravity to do. So you're gonna lift up into a plank and then you're gonna go dip, side to side, dip, dip, dip. Alternate going side to side. Again, you wanna think about not letting your butt go up. You're not letting your hips drop. You're keeping everything nice and controlled, side to side. And you're gonna do about 10 to 12 on each side. Just staying on your toes, side to side. Let's do two more. And there you have it. So those three things and they burn. I can feel my obliques and my core working right now as well as my shoulder stabilizer. So that's a good thing. So you want to do those three things. So right now I'd rest for about a minute and do them again. And then if I want to add a little more, I do it one more time. Then you're going to go into round two. Guys, so second round of stuff we're doing. It's consisting of two exercises, like I mentioned, and we're going to do Two things, one of an actual rotation and the second is just stabilization. So first thing we're gonna do is just a rotation with either a band or you can hold a, an actual medicine ball or dumbbell, something like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna position yourself, toes on the ground or slightly elevated. You can do either or. I'm gonna do elevated. You just wanna make sure that you're keeping everything as square as you can so you're not letting if your toes are up you're not going to let one hip drop or the other so i'm here and i'm coming up to center here center so i'm essentially doing like a chop rotation and i feel this in that oblique keeping my shoulders back and my arms in line so i do about 12 on one side then i'll switch 12 on the other and you're going to feel if you keep those toes up and even if you feel keeping your toes down how your hips are having to stabilize to really make it from allowing that knee to drop down on the side that you're turning towards so it's a good challenge so i do 12 on each side then i'm going to go right into a side plank hold so this is just a stabilization hold and you can either stack it up, you can keep it on your elbow or your palm. Just hold it, lifting through that oblique, holding it up. And modifications would be, of course, to keep that knee down or to simply cross that top foot in front of the other. Still lifting up, still making sure you're not raising through that trap. You're just holding and breathing for about 20 to 30 seconds. Then you're gonna take it right to the other side. Same thing, lifting up, holding, and just breathing. And you may find that one side is stronger than the other. One side feels like you can do it a lot easier, and that's not abnormal. That just means that you need to do more mobility work you need to work on really strengthening those stabilizers, those little muscles in your shoulders. And then come down. So after you do those two, you could rest or, well, you would want to rest, of course. And then you can do it one or two more times to really get a good oblique burn. So once again, guys, thanks for hanging out. I'm Candace with Candace e Fitness. And if you liked this, workout please share it with someone who might enjoy it as well and don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already and if you want a free workout you can do anywhere be sure to hit the link below and grab it